boys and girls. Welcome to another lesson for our distance education. Today we're going to do math and we're going to talk about estimation. Estimation is something we talked about in class before and it means making a really thoughtful guess. And as an adult, I use estimation every day in my life. For example, when I go to the store, if I have five dollars and I know that oranges are about a dollar each, I know that I can buy five oranges. When you're a kid, you use estimation all the time too. When you get to older grades, you can use it to help check your math problems to see if you've done a good job. So today we're gonna to talk about how to estimate using different foods that I have in my house. You'll notice that I have or three different bowls of foods that are different sizes. Can you guess which bowl has the most objects in it? The large oranges, the clementines, or the almonds? Let's work on it together. The first bowl is full of oranges, and that's the biggest object that I've collected from my kitchen. Now, what do you estimate? This is going to be our easiest question because oranges are the biggest, so there's lots of space between them. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine oranges in that bowl. My next bowl has clementines. As you can see, it's a smaller bowl. So some people might think that it has less, but because the clementines are smaller, they might actually have more. What's your estimate? How many clementines do you think are in this bowl? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, it looks like there were more clementines than oranges. The last bowl is a little tough. This bowl is filled with some almonds. Now, it's the smallest of the three bowls, so some kids might think that it actually has the least amount. What do you think? Since these are really small and there looks like there's a lot of them, I'm going to count them by putting them into groups of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one more. So that's one, two, three, four groups of ten, and then one more. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty-one almonds. Looks like that was the most objects out of any of the bowls. You can make your own estimation jar at home with any objects you have in your house. Just try to use a big clear jar so that people can see inside and maybe shake it around and guess how many objects are inside. Once you've put some objects in your estimation jar, you can do a survey with your family to see if they can guess how many objects are inside. For example, if I put the 
moment in time. I can make a chart with two columns, name and estimation. I'm going to put my name. I already know the answer, but I'm going to pretend I don't. Hmm. Maybe it's 22. If you make your own estimation jar and put a photo up of it on our um, uh, online system, your teachers would love to guess how many objects are in your estimation jar, or you could even ask your family and friends to help you fill in a, fill in a chart. I know in my family, um, Elliot's grandpa is really missing him, so we have video chats with him. So maybe you could have a video chat with your grandparents and see if they can guess how many things are in your estimation jar. I've got one last question for you. I filled up this tiny jar with popcorn kernels that I'm going to make later tonight. So if you compare it to the bowls and the jar and the oranges, we can see that this is the smallest container, but the popcorn kernels are also super small and they're filling up the whole jar. Can you estimate how many kernels are in here? That's a really tough question. Please post your answers because we'd, or we'd love to hear it. On our next video on Monday, I'm going to tell you how many popcorn kernels were in here. I hope you have a great weekend and you're working hard and posting your estimation jars so that we can make a guess too. Bye-bye.